Hey guys, you're watching Zubon and Lonely, my name is AJ, and we are back on a one-off episode on how to do interiors. I get asked the question a lot, AJ, how do I make a really nice interior in my house? Well, here I've got a quite below average Minecraft house. We've got the storage, we've got like a little dining table with the furnaces and crafting table, your enchantment table, and a little seating area with a TV that I've got set up. But... This house in the real world wouldn't work very well, it's very open planned and it doesn't happen too often. So the first thing you want to do is actually divide your house up into rooms like I've done here. Once you've got defining walls in separating different rooms, it actually gives us one, more room on the walls to be able to place furniture and two, it makes the house look a lot better overall. We've got a few different designs here, we've got ones with half slabs to make them a little bit higher. You can have normal doors. You can have them wider than other ones, or you can have them arched. Okay, so straight away we've made our house look a lot better. Our next rule is the double up rule. Well, well, yeah, double up rule. Always make sure that you've got at least two blocks above the uh, ceiling of the room that you're in and the floor of the room above. You can do different lighting designs and play around with different lighting designs. But doing it this way will give you the ability to have your floor of your second story different from the ceiling of your first story. A really easy way to hide lighting is to use carpets. Just place carpets down over glowstone. You get some really nice looking carpets uh, and it's a very easy way to hide your lighting. Another way to do lighting is to actually use torches like wall lights, uh, but use item frames and different types of items in the item frames to sort of look like holsters to hold them up if you do want to use torches and don't afford the glowstone, can't afford the glowstone. If you can afford the glowstone, I recommend petitioning the glowstone in the middle of the wall and placing uh, paintings on the wall to try and hide the lighting in another way. Once you've got some light, hidden lighting down and your house is lit up, uh, enough for you to be happy with, you can start on some more finer details of the building. So the first detail here is more of a practical detail. For an enchantment table, who says the books actually have to be square all the way around? Have some abstract shapes, it makes it look a lot more realistic and a lot more funky. And you can still get your 30 levels, and in fact, that is an amazing sword I just got out of it. When doing storage, make sure that you actually label what storage you have in each chest. This makes it a lot quicker to be able to find what you're looking for and gives an overall better look to your house. Plants are your best friend. Foliage in a house will make your building look an awful lot better from the inside. We can have plants like this, or you can make little tables with plants in them using the new plant pots that we've got. You can either experiment using your own with like a cactus and a leaf or you can use the standard plants. Okay, as soon as you've got all the greenery down, we can start doing different things like shelves. Uh, we can still put foliage on these, but using shelves around the place will give an, a different depth to the inside of your house. If your ceiling's looking a little bit boring and dull, uh, try putting logs and other materials on the roof to try and give depth to the ceiling. The logs can even be placed in different directions depending on the room you're in to give a bit more of an abstract feel inside. Once all the decorative lights and stuff are done, you can place down normal rugs just to spruce up the place. If carpets can't be placed, for example underneath fences, then just use normal wool. You won't be able to tell the difference. Once all the rugs are down, uh, try doing different chair designs. Instead of having your normal stair chair, uh, place item frames down on each side. This is probably my favourite design. And since the item frames can be used uh, more than once in the same block area, you can get some really cool designs. Place chests down on tables so it fills a little bit more space. Why not start making the kitchen look more appealing as well as being practical? Uh, I'm using quartz blocks here to make kitchen cabinets. I'm putting white carpet in item frames on these to make them look like kitchen cabinets. Place carpet along the top to make it look like you've got a bit of a countertop going on. If placing down all these cabinets have blocked out the light in your room, why not put glowstone behind the cookers and put a painting over it to look like a bit of a splashback board. Place down detector rails on top of furnaces to look like hobs. 
And remember to build a fridge. There's always time to do more lighting if necessary. If you've been subscribed with mine for a little while now, you'll know that I really love putting trap doors up on the highest level of the room. It gives a little bit of detail and it's very cheap to do in survival. Once it's done, I think it gives a really different depth to the building and adds some more eye-catching detail. Bookshelves are the best space filler. Remember to use them. Try using upside down stairs for coving in different rooms. Use quartz stairs for baths as they have a really nice white material. Use trip wire hooks with item frames behind them and different coloured wool to give you different uh, temperature taps. The best Minecraft toilet. Place down a quartz stair, an anvil with a quartz block on top, a carpet on top of that and a trip wire hook on the side for the flush. Experiment around with different wall designs, you might come up with something you like. Okay guys, so we are finished. We have transformed this very open plan, very below average Minecraft house uh, into what, what seems to me to be a nice looking interior. We've got different rooms now, we've got bathrooms, we've got storage. Can be easily built in survival. I haven't used anything here which is difficult or impossible to get in survival mode. And uh, I think it looks really good. So we can leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!